Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy um, is stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, real quickly, there could be some type of atonement going on in someone's life. Like, maybe you've been wondering, like, what your ancestors are doing behind the scenes when it comes to you. Maybe you're going through some type of situation where you're, like, not seeing anything moving or anything changing. There is some type of atonement going on. Uh, I think it was, like, maybe five days ago or something. I was laying down and I was going to throw in a, a little temper tantrum <laughs> with my ancestors. I said, listen, what are you all doing up there? Like, I need assistance with this. I'm trying to have it taken care of. And you all don't, don't seem to be doing anything. But, of course, I'm just being like a pow-pow a fish, right? But immediately when I said, like, what are you all doing? And, like, to attune this situation. And, like, they showed me, like, a flash. Um, what I saw was, like, I think it was, like, maybe eight angels underwater. Um, now, typically when they show us angels, they'll show us angels with wings, but these angels, they didn't have wings. The, their form, um, if you, like, if you know, like, what the aurora lights look like in Alaska, um, think of that in, like, a human form, in a human ship. Um, and I could see, like, their head, like, the upper torso, I could see it was established, it was developed, right? Um, but from the waist down, it was just flowy, right? Like a flowy gown. And it was about eight of these beans on the water, uh, kind of like in a semi-circle. Uh, kind of like if you're going upstairs or something and you see like people just standing, right? Um, and they were singing some type of very, like a very beautiful note. Uh, I'm, th I'm talking like that 963 kind of hearts notes, but on a different level. You know, like, how on earth when choirs are singing, like, you can hear, like, the synchronicity uh, amongst them, right? But you can still hear the individual voices within that choir if you are close enough or if you listen close enough. But with these angels, you couldn't hear the individual voices. It's like eight beings singing, but you can only hear one voice. And which is typical because uh, throughout my metaphysical studies... Um, when beings are communicating with humans, they'll typically refer to themselves as we because you're never really communicating with just one being. It's always a group, a collective that you are communicating with. Um, but I remember I heard them singing this, this really beautiful note and like I just felt so at peace. But what I found interesting is that in the midst of these angels, there was some type of dark, like if you... No, if you like uh, see a black hole, but there was like it was that's kind of what it looked like. It was like a black hole above them, and they were all sinking this hearts. And as they were sinking, uh, like the black hole was shrinking. So it's like they were showing me that here we are attuning wherever this situation is. We are doing something in the background of you. You may not be aware, but we're doing something. We're fixing the situation. So it's something like that. You could be wondering like what's going on. Uh, where are they and things like that. They're, they're there with you. They're taking care of the situations. I also remember like not too long before that, maybe a week or so before that, I was laying down one day and I had like a vision where I was at walking um, to go to like the library. And they were showing me this in advance. And I see like myself walking and I have like these angels that are walking around with me. I'm talking like a whole group, like just on each side of me and they're just going with me and it was like a i think an early monday morning like probably i say like maybe 3 4 a.m in the morning and when i saw that i remembered it was saying like if you 
we prefer for you to not go out today but if you decide to we will watch over you we will protect you and i kind of found it interesting i'm like oh, i don't know what's going on it's raining it was pouring down this at that point i'm like well if it's raining i'm probably not going anywhere um but that just kept playing in my head we prefer for you to not go out today but if you do we will watch over you we will protect you um so i was sitting at home like okay it's raining we don't really need to go anywhere today but you know by like 12 p.m that day it had cleared the sun was shining you couldn't you couldn't even tell it had rain and so i decided to go out you know that day i'm like yeah they said <laughs> listen they said they'll had they'll take care of me right so you know i went out that day and you know I don't remember anything strange happening. I know that when I go out sometimes, I'll see people walking around with like, you know, their piece on their side and things like that. But I just remember there was a e like a, I think an eagle flying above me, in, above my kid and I in the sky as we were walking, um, kind of them letting us know that we, we're here. You're not by yourself and things like that. So I'm using my uh visions to kind of just reiterate to you that you are secure you're protected sometimes we're in situations where it's like um we feel like we're by ourselves and the whole world is against us but you know if you're spiritual you're never alone you got a whole gang that's moving with you when you move they move just like that right um so you're not by yourself things are being atoned for you maybe you don't see the people that are helping you in the background or the beings that are working with you i will pay attention to the signs and synchronicities and things like that um and just you know keep doing what it is you're doing obviously you're doing something right if um you are that heavily protected anyway let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading because i think this has something to do with it you could have a queen of cups and i'm going to say this woman is a queen of cups reverse because there aren't really any positive cards around this lady you're seeing the seven of swords with the five of cups someone is being left out in the cold may have lost a relationship this could be someone that was pretentious maybe pretending to be a actual queen of cups to maybe a king of swords king of pentacles whoever it was in order for her to receive some type of offer she may have led this gentleman on for quite a long time and now that he's seen her for who she is there will be some type of problem coming for this lady yeah problems coming for her the truth is out there's clarity in the situation this woman may have uh caused this man some type of loss as well so what i'm picking up on is that either this woman will has an ex that she maybe did not want dating another woman i would say maybe like a empress energy this woman is very dark and what it is is that she has a problem with your your uh light energy who you are you are the truth she does not like the fact that you are a light worker she prefers for this man to date women that are low vibrational because she feels that she has an upper hand on these kind of women or something because she's just like them maybe she's a up upper salon of low vibration on women something of that nature right so she prefers for her ex to date women that don't got much going on uh when it comes to her like she she thinks she's better than them or whatever she wants to be the one to make the decisions in his life who he can date who he cannot date and this is something she's been doing for quite a long time is isolating this man right isolating him without him knowing uh, uh, this could be one of those idiotic men that go to their exes for advice. I don't know why men do this. They go to their exes for advice. She's an ex for a reason or he's an ex for a reason. She, she's she been gatekeeping this man's love life for a long time. When she sees that someone wants to either be with him or he wants to be with someone, she will interfere in some type of way. Maybe talk, talk down to him about those women or lie about those women say that she saw that woman with another man or she she knows that the woman this woman does things online with her body or whatever come up with some type of lie someone went to an extensive extent uh to block the truth from coming out to make you look like something that you are not just so that he would not give you an offer and he could stay stuck with her there's something like that where it's like it's somebody's ex or it could be like this is his best friend and she didn't want him dating you so she told a bunch of lies and she thought she was going to get away with it and it looks like something has caught up to this woman the friendship will be over maybe this is why she's out here distressed still trying to lie i had this queen of uh 
pentacles that came out sideways so this is someone that maybe struggled with practicality doesn't see straight i don't know how and why she's this involved in this masculine's life you're the past for a reason let that man move on like i don't know why these women be this invested in their exes like let them move on let them live their lives go live your life it's not your place to be telling this man who he can dig lying to him who he can give to and things like that and this man may have found the truth out about you queen of pentacles which is why we have this ace of swords to the queen of pentacles there's some type of truth this man may have found out about you that you are actually someone genuine you are who you put yourself out to be this woman could have been lying to him the whole time and said that you were pretending to be something you're not maybe even pretending to be her but the whole time she's copying your personality and the truth may be out now and she's in some type of distress because now this person wants to come towards you to commit to you for some of you this will be a queen of cups reverse that was dating a queen of swords a king of swords excuse me maybe she went both ways who knows i don't care it came out so i had to make note of it uh she could have been dating a king of swords and maybe she betrayed this man did something to him and maybe he has ended the relationship maybe she put herself out there to be a queen of cups upright but turns out she's a thief may have tried to steal from this man and then tried to say that it was you when you didn't have nothing to do with the situation so maybe he's finding the truth out that she's been stealing from him trying to make it seem like it was somebody else that did it so it could be a couple of different scenarios for a lot of you but the truth is out about you the queen of pentacles there could be another queen of pentacles out here too that you need to be privy to but let's go ahead and focus on you the truth is out you are someone that's very intuitively gifted you could be a high priestess you're listening to your intuition which is what you're being advised to you may have a queen of cups this queen of cups reverse may want to come towards you to give you some type of friendship offer this is not a genuine friendship offer this is some type of sneak attack she's plotting is to come in play with your mental act like she's telling you the truth about some type of situation you probably don't care about because she's going through something there's something she either put you through or tried to put you through and she's going through it as well so she may be trying to come towards you to tell you the truth now about why she did something that she shouldn't have done. And I don't think you give two Fs about what's going on with these people. Move on with your life. Let them live their life. If he wants to come towards you to give you a solid offer, he'll find a way to do that. But there's something this woman is going through. I can hear a masculine saying, if I don't get her back, uh, we're going to have problems. Something like that. It's like he's telling her, if he does not get you the the queen of pentacles high priestess back like if he don't get you back maybe you left a situation with these two i'm not saying that you were in a three-way relationship i i'm saying that you were in these people environment in some way somehow maybe church school work whatever it is some type of community event i don't know what this is but he's telling her if i don't get her back we got problems so she has a lot of problems going on right now. And her best bet in her mind is to come towards you to tell you the truth about why she did whatever it is she did. And I don't think you really want a friendship from this woman because this is someone that's desperate. Because she stands to lose everything. I'm telling you, she's trying to come towards you to give you a friendship, but you don't want a friendship from this person. This could be someone that went to a whole lot of length to do you something. May want to meet with you and everything. Six of Cups out here, look at you refusing the offer, and she's burning because maybe that man told her, if I don't get that woman back, we got problems. That means he's about to wreak havoc in her life. She may not have a job, may not have friends. I don't know what kind of community they're in, uh, but she may end up finding herself being alone. She will be part of a family, a community, whatever this is. Basically, she's about to lose access to resources, friendships, uh yeah may even lose a job or something um but who lord have mercy uh this woman is in distress because the truth is out she's being left out in the cold you're receiving some type of communication your work is being seen as something that's solid and secure you're someone very uh disciplined very skilled uh, very valuable to have around people benefit from working with you instead of against you and this woman may have told a lot about you and the truth is out about her so she may want to send you some type of communication to make things with you because she stands to be 
like excommunicated or something of that nature with that five of cups out here someone may be excommunicated from a family or from a community or something of that nature because of what she did so her best bet in her mind is to reach out to you tell you how she loves your work and things like that it's all a facade i wouldn't entertain this woman in any way shape or form someone is going through karma let them go through karma okay like she made her bed let her lay in it it's something like that Someone was trying to block you from having new beginnings, sabotaging your work, maybe even paying people out there to do you something, whatever this is, okay? Um, for some of you, this is just a, 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 a crazy woman that was dating a man and she went all buck wild trying to make sure he doesn't get with somebody else, making sure that he's not talking to another woman, but the whole time she's stealing from him or trying to steal from him, maybe even cheating on him, things like that. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, is absolutely watching you. Maybe looking you up, trying to find you, find where you are so she can send you some type of communication. I'm telling you, this woman is looking you up because there's some type of truth that's out in a community that she's been lying. And someone may have separated himself from her and he does not care to be associated with her. He's not happy to see her. You know how sometimes when you are around certain people, they're always happy to see you. When you come, it brighten, brightens up their day. So they're always looking forward to seeing your face. It used to be something like that, but it is not something like that anymore. Someone is being seen as a liar. A liar. She, her ethics, her morals are not in the upright. This is not someone as solid as a rock. Maybe going through some type of court case or just some type of problems behind the scenes, losing everything. Uh, she may be like very defensive at, at the moment. Like they're asking her a lot of questions. I thought you said this person did this to you. Uh, but we are finding out they didn't do anything to you. I thought you said this person said this. I thought you I thought you said this person da 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 da. Whatever it is, all the truths coming out. Um, and she's watching you, trying to find out where you are, how she can come towards you to block you from being able to defend yourself as well. Like someone, their mental is not right. This is a narcissist. Be very careful, trying to stop you from having wish fulfillment as well. Like this is a crazy woman absolutely crazy very jealous very angry mentally unstable emotionally unstable i'm telling you very unstable the truth is out that these people were trying to trap you you could be a king of cups as well they were trying to trap you isolate you so that you would not partner up with this queen of pentacles who they were lying about this is your ex you two are showing up as king of cups queen of cups this is either your ex or this is someone you could like consider to be your best friend that's been lying to you, trying to keep you trapped and no, you may have dated this woman before and it didn't work out. You're trying to have a new beginning, it ain't working out. Uh until this woman is out of your energy, basically. Whoever this woman is has been blocking your forward movement for a long time with this eight of source out here. Someone knows how to play on your mental. Like she has you figured out. She knows you like her ABC. She knows what to say to you to get you to forget about what it is you want to do. I want to go talk to that person and she'll tell you, uh, you know, I, I talked to her and I heard some stuff about her and I don't think you should waste your time. And then you're idiotic so you decide not to talk to that, that other woman. Maybe that other woman was what, your twin flame the whole time and this was your opportunity for you to have a new beginning and you decided to listen to this lunatic that's still holding on to you or this could be a best friend that has emotional interest in you but you don't have any emotions for this woman and so it's a problem she's burdened she's bothered by every woman that you have your eyes on with this five of cups out here i feel like either a friendship is over between the two of you or there is some type of relationship that's over you're leaving her out in the cold she feels betrayed or she may have betrayed you yeah she betrayed you two's relationship or whatever this is and you're moving on okay like she is i'm telling you <laughs> yeah they've all been working together working together there's a high priestess in here that is exhausted as well she's been coming after another high priestess and there's something where it's like she's tired her skills may not be worked up to part or something like that i don't know what this is and i really don't care but this woman whoever this high priestess is there is something she's been doing behind the scenes that is Causing her more damages than it is the person she's doing it to. Uh, you could also be being advised by the universe, whoever this message pertains to, that 
uh, there's some type of collaboration that is falling apart um, because it's not going in these people's favor. They've been working really hard to dismantle your your life and there's something that's falling apart amongst them. And this is not something you did. This is something that they kind of uh, manifested for themselves. I don't know if there's some type of spiritual work people try to steal or people try to destroy or dismantle. And it looks like it's not going in their favor or something like that. You could have a pink of cups out here that may be feeling trapped in some type of contract. He got in some type of uh, dark uh, dark contract that he feels stuck in. He's not able to move. He's stuck in this collaboration. Maybe there's some type of relationship that he wants out of as well. He could have gotten married to someone. Uh, yeah, he could have gotten married to someone. And he wants out of their collaboration okay but i don't know if he's able to find his way out of there with that eight of uh eight of swords <laughs> yeah three of pentacles reversed there's something it's like they're trying to it's like this man feels like if you're not going to accept a commitment from him then he has to destroy you this could be someone from your past for some of you and for some of you this is someone you're not you've never been with but their ex, their ex is crazy or their best friend is crazy something like that okay uh, but you're being advised to keep up uh, investing in your work um you are going to be receiving some type of promotion this king of cups for some of you who this is your ex with the high priestess out here, this could be someone that is trying to have people not see you as an actual high priestess. Like, he does not want people listening to their intuition when it comes to you. You Like, he does not want people believing that you're skilled, that you're someone that's worth giving an offer to. He doesn't want you receiving some type of contract of a promotion or a, an offer or something like that. It's some type of work promotion you're supposed to receive and this man is trying to hold on to it or keep it from coming towards you while he's stuck in some type of fender bender that he put himself in. And that's because someone does not want things being balanced out for you because you're going to be leaving something out in the cold as soon as it's balanced out for you. Uh, he feels trapped where he is, so he's trying to trap you or something of that nature. But this man is going through some type of karma. And I don't think he quite knows how to get himself out of that. Someone could even be looking for you, trying to get you to help them out of some type of karma. But I just heard you can't help them. You can't help this person. They put themselves in the situation. The truth is out about this person because they've been collaborating with others behind the scenes to cause you blockages and stalemates, cause conflict and things like that. Like they're looking for you. They're watching you, trying to figure out how to stop something or how to stop you, how to stop a relationship, how to stop you from being seen your work and things like that this is all they've been doing repeatedly for quite a long time and this is what they want to keep doing but there's something being balanced out for you they're trying to stop a union from happening but it's still going to happen it's still going to happen <laughs> like they may even end up having a front row seat or watching you and someone come together and it's going to be one of those situations where they say so we're just going to let them be together uh it's a yes they're just you're just you're just going to let them be together. There's nothing you can do. Someone is trapped in their mind. They're confused. They're pissed off, mad about this union coming together. And it could be this thing of source and another energy behind the scenes, which it has nothing to do with you because this is going to lead to wish fulfillment for you. Whoever wants to partner up with you has quite a lot of emotions for you. This is someone who is single, ready to mingle, sees you as ultimate fulfillment and things like that. Uh, maybe very abundant in life and this is going to be a very abundant relationship spiritually and physically materialistically as well so you two will be powerful manifestors showing up in the two of cups energy uh just then uh so this is going to be a very abundant re oh there it goes two of cups i knew it was going to come out this is going to be a very abundant relationship but as you can see there's some type of practice going on behind the scenes some type of manipulation going on behind the scenes so that you two do not meet and this union does not come together. But like I said, this union is still coming together and people are mad about that. People are pissed off, disappointed, sad because at the end of the day, this is what the universe has destined. You two will be coming together out of the cold. This came out sideways, so I'm going to put it reverse. Not that it matters. Uh, you two will be coming out of the cold, meeting, having some type of rendezvous and leaving everything in the past and moving on. I keep hearing someone saying it's you and me against the world now or whatever, something like that. Like something about loyalty, 
uh, coming out of the cold and creating opportunities for uh, the two of you or something like that. Um, but just know that it's a lot of energy being put into you two not coming together. It's like someone wants me to focus on that. It's like you two will not come together. That's a lie. You two are coming together. Absolutely coming together. And this Queen of Cups is pissed up because someone is about to be in poverty. She's losing everything. And I mean everything. Okay, I heard the word perfection. Someone may see you as someone that's a uh, perfection for them. Like they don't see anything wrong with you. They see you as very genuine, very authentic. May even like your spirituality and things like that. Maybe, maybe they're spiritual as well, but... Someone is very happy when they see you, hear you, or something of that nature, okay? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.